Granddaddy Minx here, right in Sanford, Florida. Hofrar, German's place. We're gonna enjoy some good German buys here. Seasonings, breading, maybe even we'll take a polka band home. Here's my special Hello. guest, Dave. Dave's here, Dave's here. It's a hard time to find Dave, but we're here, here in Sanford, Florida. We're gonna get the true German authentic pizzazz here in Sanford, Florida. Come on, let's go shop. Har har banil, good juice, and some good puppy. Soccer puppy, right? You like soccer puppy. Oh, they like gummy bears. Big gummy bear. Spetzel, Spetzli. Pizza rub. We're gonna try some pizza rub. Chopsen, Schnecker, Schneider. Sauerkraut. Lots and lots of sauerkraut. Look, they got sausage. Come on. They got sausage over here. Oh my gosh, they got lots of pizza. Yeah. Like that one okay? Yeah, this one's interesting. You get a toy with it too, so you can play with it or put it on a Christmas tree. Go shopping. Only 6,500 calories per serving. We can handle that. We'll have to eat like one in a whole month. Makes good Christmas present. Hey, we're on the air. We're back. Granddaddy Minx here. Thanks for tuning in on your inner tube, on your small inner tube, on your phone. <gasps> There's Granddaddy Minx. Or on the big inner tube on the wall. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. So, I don't know if you can see this stuff back here, but come on with me. I'll, I'll step down here. So I went to Germany to Hospach restaurant and market in Sanford, Florida. Dropped off 200 half kegs a week there. They thirsty there. They drink by the gallon. Or is it by the pint? Or is it by the liter? I think it's by the liter. So I got some schnetzels, wheat and eggs. How's that guys? Can you see that? already made up I don't have to do anything don't have to beat an egg and whip it up and no butter no nothing we're gonna try that eventually you'll be tuned in for that never know when I'm gonna do that one but today I got some breading what's this panner mole all the directions are in German I don't speak German so we're gonna improvise right I'm gonna make a crab fried crab, a whole fried crab today. And you're gonna be here for that. If, if stay tuned. Okay, something I've never seen before. Sauerkraut seasoning. I wanted to show you something in Granny Mink's kitchen. Check it out, got the coffee maker. Everybody's seen one of those right by now. I would think, well, maybe possibly. Uh, yes, caffeine, uh, coffee beans from Colombia. That's the only thing we get from Colombia is coffee beans. So, I got a coffee, I got my grounds. What do I do, what does Granddaddy Minx with these grounds? I saved my grounds. I'll put these grounds in that little bowl right there. It's a big bowl though actually, isn't it? Who are those grounds for? What are we gonna do with those grounds? No, we're not gonna feed them to any animals. They would like be climbing the trees and jumping up on the clouds. No, that's not what we're going to. We're going to organically use these in our garden and around our vegetables and it keeps the little buggies away and helps mulch it and makes good stuff. It better be good stuff and strong stuff and we love our plants so let's give them some coffee too. Not just for me or the wife or great great granddaddy mink. I can't believe it's not butter. A little spray butter on anybody's plate throw it in the microwave when you're going to serve them a plate, a heated plate of leftovers, and a little squirt of the butter right on top. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh and tasting, just dine oh my Like you. So check it out. I got my bok choy. It's trying. I got more bok choy. I got a pepper plant, sweet pepper plant. I got parsley and another bok choy. 
<laughs> that go good on fish. You gotta try that. That that's that's awesome. Mm. Another pepper plant that's probably hot. I know that's in the not the kale family, but that's a um, it's not a mustard green. It's more of a sweet green. You see a bug bite on it? That means it's organic. Oh, we got to harvest these. It's harvest time. Oh, yeah. We got some tomato plants. Don't know how they're going to do, but I'm going to have them run up that bamboo right there, kids, and go right into the fence line and crawl around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching Granddaddy Minx. Crow. And that's in the kale family. I forget what kind of kale it is, but it is in the kale family. No mustard greens. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna start picking some of these and harvesting these, aren't we? And check out my apron, my cooking apron. Can you see that, guys? I don't know if I'm allowed to go vertical here, but look at that shot. I got this from my son and his girlfriend. They went to Universal Studios and they picked up this uh, Krusty the Crown. Is crown? Crown, clown. You must crown the clown. <laughs> he's a little crazy though I think he's, he's the father of Chucky the Clown alright how do we stop this hi Minky say hi and don't forget to watch the Mindy Mink show soon way on the air hey, there goes a wild dog that's Daisy say hi Daisy it's harvest time we're going to work our way from the bottom and work our way to the top and if we see any bugs we're going to shake the plant loose and all the bugs are going to go flying off if you see bugs it's organic no complaining about bugs on your food that makes it organic if you love organic bugs on a food good stuff <laughs> no <laughs> you don't want to open your mouth when there's white bugs. You thought smoking was bad for you. Mm. Try inhaling a bunch of white bugs. No. We're gonna clean these up at a picnic table. You guys wanna watch me do that too? Come on, let's do it. I'm so hungry, I'm ready to cook this now. How am I gonna cook that? I got a fire. <laughs> let's cook it. Oh, that's hot. I need tongs. Oh, that's hot. Well, let's put it right there. I don't lose it now. Cooking, 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 cooking. Flip. Oh my gosh. Cooking, 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 cooking. Cooking all those bugs off. That's protein. Ah. Alright, guys. It smells like a burnt leaf. He's going to do it. Is he going to do it? No, he's not going to do it. He's going to do it. I'm telling you, he's going to do it. Mmm. Mmm. And it's good for you. So we got our bowl full of coffee grounds that we're going to feed to a plant. And I'm looking for a plant to feed. Do we see any plants that need some help? We can give some coffee grounds to. I think right here. Let's go for this one. So I'm going to take the coffee grounds and yes, that whole cow poop in there. Yes. 
Cow doo doo. And that'll keep some of the bugs away. Not those white ones. No. Oh, those, those white ones are nasty. Definitely feels like we're in the wilderness today. Mmm. Good stuff. We're looking for the bad stuff and the good stuff. If we don't want the bad stuff, it going off to the side. The good stuff stay. Looking for dark spots. Looking for anything that's not going to cook up right. The, the smaller ones are typically more sweeter. And uh, like when grass grows along the roadways, uh, the taller the grass gets, the more bitter and hard and tough it is for critters to eat. But when the grass is cut, the new, the new grass will grow along the roadway and actually uh, draws in animals to eat that grass along the roadway because that grass is the freshest and the sweetest and the most nutrition. Yeah, those those critters that are there along the highways, they're not there because they're worried about the cars. They're there for their nutrition value. And it's organic. May have some... What is this? This is good stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Little guys. Little guys are good for you. I like the little guys. Little guys are always sweeter. <laughs> I can do that because I'm outside and I know the rabbit's going to come and eat it eventually. The rabbit will probably show up after dark though, kids, so I don't like the way that looks. Oh, I like the way that looks. Da -da 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 -da. Outdoors, got my campfire going. Mm, got the smell of wood. Got the beautiful chirping of birds. Oh. What more could you want? Besides a, a little bit more sunshine today. I know, I had to do this. I was like, oh, I'm not going to bring you guys with me today. The sun's not out. It, it was out for a little bit, and I got excited, and I went and ran and got my camera. And I'm like, okay, everybody that subscribed or just, just is new at this or just new at seeing Granddaddy Minx cooking adventure stuff, show, fun times. Uh... And then all of a sudden I grab the camera and run outside and guess what? The sun went bye bye. So it's probably uh, dark and cloudy like just about everywhere else on this planet. And gloomy. Yeah, so much more entertaining when the sun is shining. Like it, it puts a smile on my face. Mmm. Don't know why, but it just does. Feels good. The sunshine makes you feel good. The color of green makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. and, the cut, and the taste of green tastes real good. Gotta save those little guys. I don't know about that one. That one got a couple bug bites on it. Those little white bugs are trying to eat it up. Hey, you guys leave me alone. Leave my plants alone. Not allowed. Not allowed. So I do this kind of work outside because why should I make a, ho a mess in the kitchen? No, 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 no. You bring home fresh fish, you clean it outside. You don't bring it inside the living room. No, you don't do that with the produce either. No, 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 you shouldn't. You gotta make sure it's clean first, then you bring it inside. No dirt, bugs. Don't want these guys in the house. No, no, no. Oof, speaking of bugs, they're back. That is not snow. I think they're called aphids. Definitely organic. Mm. That's for Peter the rabbit. Oh no no. See look at all those bite marks. Or the terror. No, no, no. Oh. Then we're still gonna once we take these inside, we're still gonna clean them up inside and still make sure they're picture perfect and hopefully the little white bugs wash right down into the drain and and then the fishies will eat them. Oh, that's that's a that's a no no no. No. Mm. Oh no. Creepy, creepy, creepy. No, you're not allowed. 
bite mark. Mm -mm. Oh my, no creepiness. There, it was like, ee, 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 ee. I was catching them eating it. Mm -mm. <sighs> Examining your fruits and vegetables before you process them is necessary. I think we should gonna have to pick some more. Yeah. So beautiful. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. Now you're pretty. You got a haircut. Mwah. Much better now. There's from. This is pollen from an oak tree. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That means leaves are coming on the oaks. When you see these things, sometimes they're fuzzy and filled with green powder. I was gonna say, this is good stuff, but this is like a battle. Should we go pick some more? There's more. Yes, lots more. Kind of looks like a scallop shell. Isn't that beautiful? Just look at it. I like it. No, it's not cabbage. But you know what? It probably could make some great cabbage rolls. That's what we should do with it. We should make cabbage rolls out of these. You get them like a little, a little, <coughs> a little hot. You get them a little hot in boiling water and then they soften up and then you can roll them up. Sometimes you cut these ends off right here for cabbage rolls, meat and rice, or tofu and rice. And I don't know, you're not perfect. Uh-uh, you're mulch. Uh, for men who are going bald, may I suggest this? Okay, you, you'll look very attractive and um, people will respect you if you have a leaf on your head covering up your bald spot. They won't think anything of it. Larry Lynx, this one's for you. Just my humor. I know, it's probably not even funny. All right, no hair allowed in the food. Stop that. No, my hair didn't come off of my head. Thank goodness. Not today, probably tomorrow though. They're gonna get washed. Don't play with your food, kids. Not like Granddaddy makes this. Oh, see a spider, spider nest. There's a little cotton nest right there. Y'all see that? That's spider, spider eggs. You know it's organic. Get out of here, bugs. You're not coming inside. There's probably a few will. Oh boy. My wife's going to be so happy to see those white bugs flying around the house. But wait, there's more. We're in another garden right now. I got my petunias. I got my mint. Pick off from the bottom first and work your way up. Mm. Instead of chewing tobacco, Take fresh mint leaves and put them underneath your lips. And you don't have to spit. Just swallow. Mm-hmm. And your breath tastes fresh. The organic way. Hey, there's a lizard. You guys see the lizard? Mm-hmm. We got some more Italian parsley. Some greens. Beautiful flowers. Yes, that's grass. More Italian parsley. Mm 
peppers are really looking healthy and good. And more mint, lots of mint. We like mints in our drinks. We like it rolled up in our in our food, like the what do they call that rice paper rolls. Granddaddy Mix likes that. Mm hmm. Got my kumquat tree. Mm hmm. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. We're out here. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, I'm back in the kitchen doing real good because I'm in the kitchen and you're watching. Thanks. Come on, check this out. So I got a pot of water here. Not much, just about a quarter. Quarter of water. Got my leftover bacon grease. Two tablespoons of bacon grease. If the water's already hot, that'll come right off of the spoon. That's leftover drippings from bacon grease. But wait, we're not done. There's more. I saved the tops of my onions. I'm gonna open that up, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, but there's also pieces of prime rib. Uh-huh, the fat pieces with a little bit of meat stuffed over from leftovers in a frozen bag in the freezer. So check out this. I got some bay leaves. I got all that stuff there. So that's going to be my flavor for my greens. So this is going to go on the bottom of the water. We're going to flip that over. Voila. And those pieces of fat, they're, they're going to be for critters or, or lately feeding the crows. I'm putting in some minced garlic because that's what I have. It's dried out, ready to go. That was like quarter or one fourth of a teaspoon. Chicken broth. Eh. That ended up being about a, a tablespoon. Eh, I'd say three quarters of a tablespoon. So that was wild. Disastrous, but wild. Why was it disaster? Look where the chicken broth is at. Boy. You guys, I don't know how I did that. I caught the camera and the chicken broth hit the floor because uh -huh, it was still in my hand and somehow uh, the battery went dead and when the battery went dead the camera lens goes like uh, from this to like that uh, there goes the camera I, had, I caught the camera but the chicken broth is now on the floor so we're gonna have to clean that up dust pan on a broom mm -hmm. Clean kitchen's a happy kitchen, and a happy kitchen is a safe kitchen. Something more to do in the kitchen. Fun stuff. <laughs>
and, and a little bit for the next few days. That's really not going to take that long. This would be easier. Oh my gosh, that would be beautiful. Yes. Some folks put those in a dehydrator. You could put them in the oven, spray them with olive oil in the oven, and then you have some crunchy chips too. Maybe we should do that. Put it in the box if you want to see me try that. It'd be like 100 degrees for like 16 hours. I'm going to use the sandwich bag for the first layer, economical. Then I'm going to use the freezer bag. I'll roll these up into soup size and cup, maybe two cups. Mm -hmm. Freeze them up and they'll keep the freezer frozen and help out and good stuff and harvest time. What's up, subscribers? Huh? What's up? What's up, subscribers? Thanks for watching. If you like what you're saying, share. Talk about Granddaddy Mix. Talk about Mindy Mix. Talk about Larry Lynx. And eat your greens, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. And that is how you make cooked greens. You can do it for spinach too, but it's only going to be a couple of seconds. But we did that with our greens. Enjoy your greens. If Granddaddy Mix can make greens, you can make greens. Flavorful, impressionable, and safe. Hmm. Time to have a whole bowl of those, I believe. And cut. Till next time. Bye.